and we are live. Food Court, the movie podcast, and Twitch stream where Sean and John and Michael watch shit, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law, and we have a warning. There's a volcano, and it's about to erupt. We're in L.A. First of all, before Wilshire. we get to We're in Wilshire. you got to say that like 50 Wilshire. Times. Yes. We're on Wilshire We're on Wilshire. <laughs> We're on Wilshire. Um, we then, sure are. We, we must thank our, uh, our listener, Autumn Walden, who suggested this movie, Volcano, and it worked. People, who did this? Who did this? A listener, Alden Walden. Alden Walden. I thought Michael did this the whole time. Whoa. No. Michael, I owe you an apology. Sorry. I was cursing your name. <laughs> <laughs> My name? How your could you? Name. Your good name. And what we did was we watched a Volcano. Yep. Uh, starring Tommy Lee Jones, directed by Mick Jackson, whoever that is. <laughs> I think you said Mick Jagger. <laughs> Directed by Mick Jagger. Whoa. Now we can do movies instead of moves like Jagger. <laughs> movies like Jagger. <laughs> movies like Jagger. That's good. Beautiful. Um, John. Yeah. This may hurt you. It may pain you, in fact. <laughs> Will you drop the plot of Volcano on us immediately? <laughs> so James Bond is on top of a mountain. Mm-hmm. With Sarah Connor. Strangely enough, meeting of two uh, genre giants, James Bond and Sarah Connor. Wait a minute, John. Oh, no. This is not good. I think you watched Dante's Peak. John, <laughs> did you watch Dante's Peak? That's for next week. <laughs> is this the one that, this is the one with the grandmother grounds and asses, right? <laughs> no, this is the last the last Jedi stars in this Yeah. Movie, Tommy Lee Jones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And why is Tommy Lee Jones? <laughs> 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 this is a CLJ. CLJ. Oh. CLJ. That was a good one. Thank you. Deep, Damn, deep, deep. That's DLJ. new. Humor. That's Noomer. Star I'm Wars. Noomer. Tommy Lee Jones. You know what happens in Volcano? Did you this just is what happens. Me? <laughs> Did you drop a meme on me? I don't think so. That, that's a, that could be a meme. It could be now. Have I done memes? Star Wars. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones. Are you me? Maybe. This is my Tommy Lee Jones impression. It's pretty good. That was good. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. So, anyways, James Bond. <laughs> Dip grandma in acid. Uh, no, what happens is this: is Tommy Lee Jones, uh, in his character from the acclaimed films *The Fugitive and Ice Marshals*, yes, is now uh, a divorcee, single parent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which I don't. I don't feel like Tommy Lee Jones can love, let alone inseminate a woman. <laughs> also, I feel like, I feel like, like his seed would never younger. take purchase. <laughs> no. I, I feel like when John, Tommy Lee Jones gets to gets to that part of the lovemaking process, which yeah. in his case is not lovemaking at all, his penis <laughs> just goes. <laughs> 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 smoke, smoke comes out. I beg your pardon. <laughs> That's what his dick does. It, it yeah. just does. He just makes like he just uh, his penis mouth opens and it just does the speech from uh, the end of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? What is that? How does that end? Like, then I realized I wasn't even in my own shoes or something <laughs> like that. And they all died. Then they all. Wow, died. Died. That's really poetic. Yeah. I, I just I kept waiting. So now shoes. Tommy Lee Jones. Is- he has. He knows nothing about. He knows so little about volcanoes mm. that he's like, ah, what is this? What is this substance here? And she's like, yeah, lava? Yeah. Question mark. He's At like, one... ah, uh-huh. all right. At one point, he says, "What's magma?" <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Like, so he has to just not know anything about volcanoes. Yeah. He never took any form of science. Sure, never a volcano. Or has read any books. Yeah, never. Although I will give. I'm still doing the plot here. Oh yeah, sorry. I will give uh, mm-hmm. I will give Tommy Lee Jones this. This movie is called Volcano. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I was told by like sixteen to seventeen different local and international newscasters mm-hmm. who are always on the scene for ex- exposition purposes. I was told <laughs> that there is a volcano in this movie. Yeah. I saw no volcano. <laughs> I saw no mountain. Isn't there one in the last shot? 
<laughs> yes, like, but, but yeah, they like tell you at the end that the thing that that um, that, uh, that that tells you there's going to be a sequel, which thank God there was. Yes. Yeah. Um, but so basically, Tommy Lee Jones and the cast of like every HBO series team up against an invisible volcano and racism. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and spoilers, Tommy Lee Jones wins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he defeats racism. And volcanoes, but mostly volcanoes. I think the volcano is actually the hero here because it brought everyone together in a ways that people could never have even dreamed of. So let me, let me, uh, so this was going to be maybe my worst, but let's just get this out of the way. Are we doing low mains? <laughs> we haven't even got to I have often the admired the um, Michael's <laughs> attitude towards race and like racial conflict. I'm talking about Michael. Um, on the podcast here. I don't know okay. the last name, but <laughs> Michael, uh, uh, I'd always admired it. And I was like, I, I really, you know, I was like, where does he get this interesting perspective? I'm like, he must be really well read or maybe he's half white, half black. I don't know. But really now I know the reason you have such a nuanced, uh, like transcendent take on race. Mm. That you have seen and studied. Yes, I have seen this movie probably in the upper 70 to oh. 80 times. <laughs> I watched this movie on loop as a kid. We so loved this it. just like you were really poor and this was the only, the only movies? <laughs> wow, that's racist. That's an honest question. Were you poor? <laughs> no, we were middle class, but we love... Were. We, nothing... That hasn't changed. Um, <laughs> um, but... Uh, we just watched it a lot. I don't know why. We just loved it. We were like, my, yeah. Why didn't you watch Dante's Peak? We, we did. We, they, okay. it was our rotating. All right, it's Volcano Night. And then tomorrow will be Dante's Peak Night. <laughs> Every other night, we just. Real? No, I'm lying. But I did watch it a bunch as a kid. Probably, probably quite a, like, in the 20s, probably. Wow. We loved it. We loved it. Something about it just. Got us going. So what happens is uh, there's a <laughs> volcano in L.A. Mm -hmm. and it shoots uh, explosives, and Anne Hache is there, and she's a oh, yeah, geologist. <clears throat> Got and, about Annie. <laughs> and then <laughs> the volcano <laughs> and the lava moves through the city, and that's it. I mean, that's really what happens <laughs> yeah. the whole time. It takes the subway. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does take the subway. Pretty <laughs> smart very, volcano. I mean, that's very uh, board bourgeoisie just happening <laughs> with the real people in yeah the <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then killing them accidentally yeah but that happens the lava was like hey i'm gonna hang out with these real people i want to get into the smells of these real pores <laughs> and um accident by pure accident he just uh, burned them all alive yeah <laughs> or she sorry i lava think she yeah but just in case we have some, like, millennials or boomers yeah, who might not be from this era, this movie did come out at the same time as another Volcano movie, which is why I've, we've been make, I've been making all those great jokes. Very yes. good jokes. Um, Dante's Peak. Now, this was an era where this just happened relentlessly. <laughs> like, you had... Deep Impact in Armageddon. Yeah. You had Wyatt Earp in Tombstone. Yeah. You had Matrix and Matrix Revolutions. <laughs> yeah. Um, this just kept happening. People yeah. would have virtually the same idea, and they would rush to press. Mm. I think I've done no re research at all. Mm -hmm. I think Volcano was more expensive, but Dante's Peak beat <gasps> Volcano to press. Really? And ended up making a lot more money. Oh, wow. What did you say, Sean? That's how you get them. You'd you get think, them. wouldn't you just think, like, okay, they beat us to press. Let's just put it out a little bit later. Like, I don't really get It's so weird to me. It's like, well, just put it out later. I don't know. If I had a chance to see two different movies, <laughs> there's nothing stopping me. <laughs> True. I'm going to see, see Dante's Peak, and I'm going to go, pretty good. I wonder what uh, Tommy Lee Jones... The Last Jedi has to say. <laughs> yeah. No, he, I would have said that in 1997 because I'm prescient. He would have been a good 
Luke. They should have thought about him for Luke. <laughs> Thought, when he first said The Last Jedi, I thought it was an Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> oh, like, Tommy Lee Jones is indeed craggy face. Yeah. He, he, he would have been a good Emperor, too. And I think a Crack lot of people are like, head. this is the the Armageddon deep impact of Volcano movies. <laughs> but I think this is the wider of Volcano movies. Whoa. Because... Dante's Peak was the cheaper, earlier flick, right? Mm-hmm. However, it's much better Ooh. than, than Wyatt Earp. Spicy. Or volcano. Spicy. It's a hot Let's take. Let's get this out of the way. We all agree that Dante's Peak is better than Volcano. Hot right? lava take. I don't think Michael agrees. I don't remember um, Dante's Peak. So yeah, know. it's been a really long time. As a kid, I liked Dante's Peak more. Because it was right. more about the characters, you know. It's all about the characters for me in these movies. It's like Khan, you got You're, to uh, There's, no, hear there's no aspect. There's no aspect uh, wherein uh, Volcano was better. Yeah, it's I a weird movie. that Volcano would be better by virtue of the cast. However, this movie is proof <laughs> of, like, just filmmaking is, like, this giant cohesive thing that's greater than some of its parts. Mm. I don't think any of us think Pierce Brosnan is a better actor than Tommy Lee Jones. No. Here's Brosnan a fucking smokes Tommy Lee Jones in Volcano. Because he's in a movie and gives a shit. Yeah. He's in a movie that has like a plot and characters with motivations other than just like being craggy faced single dad. Like, yeah. Brosnan, like he has there's pathos to his character and he's given hundred percent all the time, you know. Whereas Tommy Lee Jones just looks cool as shit all the time. Yeah. Like, here's Brosnan when he's like <laughs> fucking girlfriend dies in the first I watched both of the movies. Fuck you, Autumn. Uh, when Pierce Brosnan's, <laughs> when Pierce Brosnan's wow. wife dies wow. in the first one, like, he's like shitting his pants with like sadness and shrieking and embarrassing himself. Well, Tommy Lee Jones is just like, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> true. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, but it's just one of them is like a pretty well made like Jaws reboot. Yeah, like Jaws the volcano, <laughs> and then Volcano is just like. You know what? It's like uh, one of the airport movies. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. it's also weird that like all the characters are just their jobs in this movie. Like they're not. They don't feel like characters. <laughs> they're like this is the doctor. This is the guy who knows the city. I don't even know what he does. <laughs> the emergency guy. This is the asshole mayor. Like no one feels like like a person. It just it felt yeah. It was kind of weird. And they kept reminding you like Tommy Lee Jones knows all the streets. It was just like weird. It's like Wilshire, what Wilshire is Ann, this? Wilshire Ann, Wilshire Ann. It's like, huh? Okay. Uh, what, it, but, but make no mistake, like Dante's Peak is not good. <laughs> but compared to Volcano, Dante's Peak is like Citizen Kane. Like, wow, just, that's it's, wild. It's just different. Uh, I like on, the part. My hero of Dante's Peak is when Pierce Brosnan's bone shoots out of his oh, arm. What's happening? <laughs> oh yeah. My hero of Dante's Peak. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My hero of Dante's Peak is there is a scene where grandma jumps in an acid lake. <laughs> a lake of acid. Grandma. Grandma. Anyways. That's the difference between this movie. Volcanoes like the best scene of volcanoes like Doggy's going to die. The doggy's in danger. Oh, we're afraid for the doggy. Here comes the lava. Then the doggy just goes out the doggy door. That's, that's the big stage. I love it. A doggy door. Mm-hmm. And then Dante's Peak, like Michael says, bones shoot out of eyeballs and <laughs> drown in an acid. Also, uh, Kill Donkey Bumming Down says there are no characters, only lava. And I could, I can only agree. And the lava You're thinks right. that too. Lava absorbs characters completely in this <laughs> movie. <Yeah>. <laughs> we can't only talk about negative things. First, we have to uh, talk about the Euro. What are, what are the of which movie, planets? though? <laughs> We're talking about Volcano. I have not seen uh, Dante's Peak. We should have done a double feature. Let's just. Years. Can we cancel tonight? <laughs> no, we can watch right, it for let's next pause, week. Let- I have, a, I have a plan, guys. You can Okay. Me. I'm not watching Dante's Peak next week. <laughs> Why not? You already watched I don't it. Want you. you already <laughs> watched it. Okay, well, then we're not watching it. Dang. But more Plus important Michael than that. Why are talking about it now? <laughs> hey, Sean. 
Me and you, me and you can watch it. We don't have to. We don't need don't John. Know. We can have our own club where we talk about movies. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> um, we watched the movie Volcano, and I have a beef lamb euro for it. What is the best part of this movie? Well, I'll tell you. Um, there's a bunch of good things about this movie. One, the main one, uh, the one. Uh, basically, any movie where this, any part where this movie doesn't take itself seriously is good, and any part where the movie <laughs> does take itself seriously is miserable. Horrible, yeah. Horrible shit. Um, but the, the best part where it absolutely does not take itself seriously is at the very end when they play "I Love L.A." Yes. <laughs> uh, that is also my Euro. That was great. Like, the moment it came on, I just like literally put my arms in the air and went, "Yeah." Yeah. I, honestly, so stupid. it's. Um, I love how movie, dumb it was. The movie is humorless until that point. Did you think it was humorless? I laughed yeah. a lot. I think we watched different movies. What was funny? <laughs> well, it's just a ridiculous movie. Yeah, it's Don just Beedle's goofy. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Bunny, Bunny, uh, Bunny from the Wire showing up. That's kind of funny. Now. I like him, Forever. even though I don't think he's funny. Oh he, no! Here's here's a funny he's part. Funny in, he's funny in a, in Todd Sullins' storytelling. I never. Seen I never that. saw that. Okay. Oh, see that. oh wait! Oh, I know that one. No. He's mm -mm. the guy who gives it to all the white ladies in the bus. Bad movie. Oh. Bad movie. <laughs> movie. <laughs> Don't watch that movie, that movie Sean. Has a less nuanced take on race relations than this. <laughs> if you wow. can believe that. Um, so I had a euro. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You finish, Sean. No, I don't remember what I was talking about. It doesn't matter anymore. You, you guys go ahead and talk. Uh oh, he's about to erupt like a volcano <laughs> upon us all. His juices will burn our flesh. Okay, um, my euro. I have a couple euros actually. Ooh, drop them on us. Oh, yeah. uh, I love the lines when Tommy Lee Jones and his associate sneak down into the hole. Yeah. Which, by the way, there, there are Jack two. Real, there are two scenes yeah. where they're told not to go down the hole, and they're like, "Well, we'll just sneak down the hole." And then Tommy Lee J Jones tells Anne Hayes, "You can't go down the hole," <laughs> and then she sneaks mm -hmm. down the hole. It's like this well, exact you scene. Learned firsthand that it was very dangerous. Yeah, down the hole. <laughs> which and she learned secondhand <laughs> that it was that, <laughs> that her dead friend is dead. Exploded. <laughs> yeah, poor Rachel. Um, there's a. But when Tom Lee Jones and them go down, it starts heating up, and then the the guy, the other guy goes, "Look at those rats! They're cooked!" And Tommy Lee Jones goes, "So am I!" And his suit's like melting. <laughs> I just died. I was like, "What?" That part is great. It was just good. Another part that I think maybe it's not always easy to tell when it's supposed to be funny or not supposed to be funny. I think they were trying it to, for it to be funny. <laughs> because um, somebody says to Tommy Lee Jones, like, hey, do you do you enjoy fucking shit up? I mean, it's not that ex exactly. Yeah. It's basically like, it doesn't go, no. No. Well, what he says is, no, actually, I enjoy motorsports, music, and the company of close friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. And, 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 he, and only only two men, Tommy Lee Jones and Steve Gutenberg, can pull off the delivery in that, re in that regard. Yes. Steve Goots. Okay. Steve Another Goots. funny thing. Uh, there's two working stiffs. The lava <laughs> is flowing down past the art museum, so they need to take out all of yeah. the, the best paintings. <laughs> and one man says to the other, he says, this Hieronymus Bosch is heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. The other one says, that's because he deals with the <laughs> inclination towards there, sin. There are a lot of those gags in this movie. Great yeah. gags. And and that is where <laughs> that is where our our paths split in twain. Yeah. You liked them. Yes. I did not like them. Now you didn't let me finish. Oh. Um. The. It starts out funny because this guy says that's because he deals with man's inclination towards sin, and then for some reason ruining the joke, the other guy says. <laughs> Well, I didn't mean it like that. Ugh. <laughs> we get the... Yeah, we that... Got the, that we're smart. We got the joke. Don't... Don't oversell the joke. That's is the worst. By, is this one written by Billy Ray? Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it is written by Billy Ray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, guy, that guy sucks really bad. He's, he looks like it. He's bad. He's a bad director. Makes bad films. I don't know. Hey, Billy Ray, if you're listening... <laughs> 
<laughs> this is John's address. Yeah. <laughs> Here, come get him. He just shows up in the stream behind you <laughs> and garrots you. That would be crazy. Like, wow. He kind of he deserved that after all the stuff he said <laughs> about Volcano. You have me there. <laughs> he deserved to be killed. Have to be killed. Yeah. You still like Volcano, Michael? Um, I'll say that I was like when it when it was on, I was like, what about this? Like, what was it? Like, why did we watch this so much? Like, I was super confused. Yeah. Is it, like, sometimes I'll watch a, a movie like this, and I'll just be like, so I was just a really dumb kid. I was just yeah. Like, exactly. yeah. Is that what I, I, yeah. It feels like that. that happens like, but, like, nostalgically, I did enjoy it. Like, oh, this is weird. It's like I'm doing what I used to. I don't know. That In that sense, it was, I was like, okay, this is bearable. But not in the way that Deep Blue Sea, I still was like, I do just right. like, like this. <laughs> I was that way about pretty much all underwater <laughs> movies for a while. Like, all underwater horror scared me so badly <laughs> that I thought they were all good. Yeah. <laughs> and then I would go back and watch, like, Deep Star 6 and Leviathan. Sphere. And I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, Sphere. Wow. wow. And I would be like, I remember these all being as good as the Abyss. <laughs> <laughs> and then you watch it and you're like, no. Well, not really. Did y'all ever. <laughs> did y'all see the newer, like, the new water horror? I think it was just called Underwater or whatever. Don't get us started. <laughs> Don't get us started. <laughs> I just. Yeah, that, I never that's, saw that's it. That's the song that. Uh, that's the song. That is the, <laughs> the movie that almost tore this podcast. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> This is John's favorite movie. I love Underwater. <laughs> and now I've now I've given up. I've given away that I have a weakness. Oh no. And now Sean's gonna win another goddamn argument for me by saying and knowing nothing. Oh shoot. Because Sean didn't like it. Although Sean, I could tell I wasn't on this podcast. He was on the podcast with Josh Lewis, mm. one of our nicer, friendlier, <laughs> less less prone to argue back hosts. Yeah. <laughs> And Sean just just dragged this movie that I saw in theaters like four times, yeah. owned on multiple format, and I and I seriously sat there and I was like, "Do I really want to do this podcast?" Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Are we? Did we lose connection? We lost our video, but our voices are still shining like the sun of the just the sun of life, really. Of lava. Oh, we're back. Are I we don't know what happened. Game? Yeah, we are. <laughs> it was just Perfect. a yeah. little kink in the thing. But yes, Michael, with underwater. Okay. We're back. And we're back to <laughs> Volcano. I just wanted to take that little detour. And Thank you. I'm glad we did. Um, Guys, oh. I've got like three more positive things, and then you can say all the negative stuff oh. you want to say. I've got one more positive thing. Okay, well, I'll do one, and then you do one. And okay, here we go. <laughs> um. <laughs> this one is, this one is a positive, even though I think it is a negative. Uh, Anne Hache, after her friend gets exploded, yes. uh, exits the hole, and she takes off her gear, <laughs> and there is a bunch of looting happening. <sighs> and a looter runs by as she's having her emotional moment and steals her gear. <laughs> yeah. And it's fucking insane because they're playing like Alan Silvestri is trying his best. He's like playing the sad song and he's like playing out those held out string notes to really make you feel the feelings. <laughs> and then this looter just runs by and steals her. That's amazing. And runs away. It's fucking insane. Yeah. That's well, so that's, good. That's this beautiful. Movie, you're watching it and this movie's from what? Like 1997? Yes. So one of the plot points of this movie is cops suck and are racist. Yes. yes. And it's what? fucking 30 years later and we're still it's insane like, man cops suck in our races yeah i was like we wow we've gotten better at preventing underground <laughs> volcano eruptions than we have at keeping our cops from being racist I yeah know. i mean how would we find out i mean <laughs> we would have to like ask if they are currently in the kkk right Which? Said, yes we would have to go well, I guess you have to not be a cop anymore. Yeah. Uh-oh. Right. Uh but we can't do that. Here's a paid pension. Yes. <laughs> Go home. Live your life. Yeah, you'll be fine. Thank you so much for all you did. Thank you for just instantly shooting anyone you saw. Um, what is your what is your positive thing, Michael? Um, it actually happened in that same moment um, oh. when she crawls out, like after she crawls out, and she's just like looking around. She you know, she, I will say, I'm glad they at least let her like mourn her friend. Most movies just like barrel through. Okay, that character's dead, but I was like, okay, 
it wasn't done that great, but no. I do love that she sees the like tar pit erupting and she goes, Rachel would have loved this. Yes. <laughs> like, what? Yes. She loves the, the bubbling. Yeah. And she goes, oh, she would have. I mean, pre being uh, burned alive, <laughs> Rachel. Yeah. Loved, loved it. Um, um, yes. And Chad Ryden is sounding off with some of his euros, which oh, I okay. would like to read. Um, he loved the firemen getting launched out of the fire truck, <laughs> which yeah, I also did. Great. And I loved that that was like a miniature. <laughs> and it looked oh, yeah. like a great toy. Miniatures. It looked I like a toy. Like that kind of feel of a lot of the effects. I think the, um, this could have been my euro, but it won't be. So that's a good I think the effects are not bad. There's like a nice no. blend of like, matte painting and and um practical effects along with you know the yeah kind of terrible looking cgi yeah. <laughs> really not, weird CGI. it's not you know the effects are not bad um no my euro though Ooh. Um, uh, john carroll lynch yes whoa our boy zodiac wow our, our the mascot of the podcast That's wild yes the killer himself Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> he gets a a character that could have been like pretty one note, and he makes it pretty, you know, two early, note, pretty complex, pretty at least do a tone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, he gets a great, 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 hilarious death scene. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. His... Death scene. That, and let me set it up. He has uh, while muttering, and this is another example where Tommy Lee Jones just. His goal in this movie was to look cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And John Bear, John Carroll Lynch, and Pierce Brosnan in Dante. C, <laughs> they 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 were like, okay, we're gonna act as if uh, actual disaster is happening. Yeah. And be scared out of our minds. Whereas Tommy Lee Jones is basically just still chasing a white man, <laughs> and, you know, through the sewers and not getting wet. Yeah. You know, but John Carroll Lynch like is doing like the Lord's prayer as he runs through this. And and, and I guess I should say that this whole thing is kind of his character. <laughs> he was the uh, he was the one battling with what to do with uh, the last Jedi earlier, mm. and he has he's carrying uh, uh, the, the 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 sub the subway train conductor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kept saying driver. <laughs> <laughs> he's carrying him out, and he gets to the end, and the and the thing is obviously now at this point the car is immersed in lava. Yes, and there, and he has a quite a long ways to jump. So what John Carroll Lynch does is jumps into the lava halfway yeah. and throws the body across. Yeah. Now what anyone under the age of maybe 15 or under the influence of drugs <laughs> sees is John Carroll Lynch try to jump yeah. across the lava and not make it. It's hilarious. Lava. And fall into the lava with his thumb up like Terminator 2. It's not even a close jump either. It's like he is so fucking far from me. No. Now, I'm, you know, I'm like four years sober, so I now understand <laughs> he was going halfway and getting him across. But that definitely the first time I saw this movie, I almost died from laughing. Yeah, and I actually... And it took, and it took John Carroll Lynch's career like seven years. <laughs> I have an edit that I think would have made it even better. Um, where he throws the conductor <laughs> into the lava, jumps <laughs> on his back, yeah, <laughs> and gets out of the Like, pitfall. I mean, yeah. I feel like that's what we would have done, right? It would have been awesome. Because he doesn't even know if this guy's alive. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we do, ultimately. Like, I don't think they ever No, the his legs him smile catch like, on I'm fire. <laughs> the amount of times people who just, like, catch on fire and this is, like, so funny. <laughs> like, the part where they have them on the ladder and they're, like, hanging on for dear life and the guy catches on fire on top of it. They're like, stop kicking your legs! <laughs> there's, a great, there's a great line reading by our boy TLJ. Ooh. Um, where he, um... He's talking to Don Cheadle, two mm-hmm. Academy Award winning actors, I believe. Mm-hmm. And... Tommy Lee, because he's a good actor, even when he's slumming like this and just trying to look cool, he's like, they burned my baby. She got burned. She got burned. She got burned. She got burned. And I felt it, man. I felt it. Yeah. It's like when John Carroll Lynch is praying and running through, he's like, 
the world's fattest, baldest Kurt Russell in backdraft, <laughs> just barreling through <laughs> and then falling into lava because he's fat. Uh, I mean, but I was feeling it. That's the best thing. My year of the picture is this movie does have, and sometimes they're not used to any capability at all. This movie does have some good actors, which yes. we've been watching movies with just uh, Kongzilla last week. Put an actor in it. One yeah, goddamn just movie. one actor. Yeah. Now, Anne H- actors that movie could have benefited from Anne Heche. Yeah, I mean, I thought she, I thought she did great. I was like, yeah. wow, Anne Heche was good. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Anne Heche got skills. Keith David, of course. Yes, and I have to agree with Chad Ryden. He said anything with the father daughter breaks me up, and that stuff does touch me. Like I thought. We've established yeah. that Chad is a narcissist. <laughs> anything except from his point of view <laughs> and his daughter's point of view so at least he's a narcissist who's a good father we'll give that. We'll give that. <laughs> but it can't be all positive stuff like we've been doing can't so it? far and what it can also be negative are we you sure opinions about this i don't okay, think so we could even have a beef lamb ye- a year negative we could also have a low main <gasps> low man of a picture wow Michael, yeah what is your low main this picture Okay, there are many issues. Um, really? Yeah, a lot of shifting tectonic plates were Ooh. happening in this movie. <laughs> but I think the ultimate low main for me is like <laughs> just the general idea that people don't know what a volcano or lava like they just can't <laughs> understand like what that could possibly be like there's several parts in this where you're like you were you Can ever you blame him? there's no <laughs> visible volcano <laughs> this movie should have been called like ground vents or like ground vents <laughs> lava sputum i don't know there were no volcanoes there as no soon volcanoes. as you see lava you know what lava is if you were in a geography class of any sort you know yeah, I mean, what John- city planner has never heard of magma yeah he's like i love when he's laughing them off like (laughs) sure a volcano yeah but there's a part even there's a newscaster who's like and it seems to be something called a volcano (laughs) like okay (laughs) what (laughs) everyone knows what a volcano is (laughs) it's just insane (laughs) so that's that (laughs) yeah that idea for this movie which rules the coast is toast (laughs) Yes. Oh. Like they, for some reason, we're like, all right, well, we got to put it in L.A. Then we got to mm-hmm. do it. <laughs> got to be on Wilshire, man. Mm-hmm. The guy who wrote Billy Ray hates Wilshire. Like, he really? hates Wilshire. Clearly. Uh, Wilshire. Oh man. <laughs> we let him off the hook. Uh, for me, the worst is the seventeen or to twenty-three exposition reporters on the oh. of every. There are moments where, and every one of these goddamn reporters is the guy from the Hindenburg. Awful. Like, just completely overwrought, speaking in the same voice. (laughs) Yeah. The tragedy that has befallen this area, coupled with moments of great heroism. Oh, the humanity. Just every single reporter. Horrifying. Not once do you just get some shrieking brunette. (laughs) No, You've got (laughs) fucking Cronkite on the scene every time. Mm -hmm. It was tiresome to say i was in the similar vein with there's a part there's a scene where a guy's on the phone just like and he's yeah. describing every moment like screaming i was like he not a just stop I he was a I think he was. yeah i was just like what is ha- why what is happening <laughs> was... good, good giant phone movie <laughs> yeah excellent zach morris phone incredible. big ass phone yeah. uh milo man uh-oh and there's a ton of them <laughs> but as i as I referenced earlier, any time when it tries to take itself seriously, it's very bad. Um, at the very end, there's a little boy. And, oh, uh, God. He has been... Um, oh. Basically, basically, he's around to almost get a building dropped on him. That is essentially his... I mean, he's moving therapy. around like young Michael Myers. Like, <laughs> unstoppable, yeah. mindless, autistic killing machine. Yes. Like, uh, and um, he makes it through. They all survive. And everyone is covered in ash, and um, the they're trying to find his mother, mm. and he looks around at all the people with their ash-covered faces, <laughs> and he says, 
Look at their faces. They're <laughs> the same. This is the moment that I, I was like, so this is where Michael gets his caring nuance yes. on all the races. Yes, God. this is it. I mean, it, in fact, in this movie, it sucks so bad. I couldn't believe they but, did that. But if you look at this movie as one incredibly long, like, Tim and Eric type, Peter Serafinowicz type, uh-huh. really long joke, the punchline <laughs> is this stupid child saying, look at all their faces, their faces covered in ass, you can't see their skin color anymore, yeah. you can't see the difference between man, they're all the same. If you yeah. look at it from that point of view, this movie is a little bit better than Dante's Peak. <laughs> yeah, is there even a single black person in Dante's Peak? There's like a guy whose race I can't tell. <laughs> who usually plays a terrorist. Oh, cool. He's like a terrorist in most Nice. Okay. That probably feels good to just always be cast as that. Hey, he's paying the bills, man. Man, I <laughs> see. I have never won an argument on this goddamn TV show. This TV show. Podcast. <laughs> where, that's right. Down to stuff like that where I just prefer the racially pure things. <laughs> wow. And I don't want to be this. No, no, you you make a good point. Um <laughs> You're right. And on that note, oh, go ahead. I'm leaving the podcast. <laughs> um another bad thing, like an added bad thing on top of the ash, everyone's covered in ash and they all look the same bad thing. Is that it immediately starts raining <laughs> and then the ash is washed away. Yeah, it's and, a... and their faces aren't covered with ash. Like, exactly. Well, I don't get it. So also, point... like, so there, this movie has, like, a lot of acts, like, a lot of last acts. Mm-hmm. That yes. Kind of, like, just won't end. Like, there's like, new threats. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I love the look out, he's got a gun fake ending as much as everyone mm. else would. And, and this, the first time they defeat the lava, yeah. know, they just hose it down with water. Yeah, <laughs> just crests up, and I'm. And it's just one of those moments where it's like, hmm, <laughs> okay. Why? Why am I watching this shit? <laughs> They're really just gonna spray water on it. Am I, I gonna keep watching? Because that's one of the moments where I like pause it and I see how much time is left, and I'm like, oh fuck, there's 35 more minutes. Well, the, it also I was just like, is. I don't think that's how lava works. Like, what would stop it from just pouring out the rest of the... Like, it just doesn't even make any sense. You're going to get... You two are going (laughs) to up on me and The Last Jedi. Make fun of us not knowing how lava works. (laughs) And then drop that little truth bomb later in the chat. (laughs) I didn't say... I didn't say... I didn't say... What is the worst part of this movie, Michael? The worst... Well, we kind of already covered it. But... There were a couple ADR which moments yeah. what were just so poorly. I was like, "What? Who thought that sounded like it matched or looked right?" For the layman out there, he's referring to <laughs> overdubbing. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I was going to explain it to y'all, and I was like, oh, "Surely these movie mavens." Dollars. No, Dollars. but the the you, you, we seem like we know a lot about movies. We just really. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> watch a lot of movies. I mean, yeah, I wonder why I'm on this all the time, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but bumming down says I have to stay and help move the concrete, which is correct. We need we need people to help move that stuff. Yes, that's another. another while we're talking about bad things, yeah. that's another bad part. <laughs> is uh, early in the, cured. Yes, <laughs> early in the movie, a. A cop um, sees a black guy and he calls him bro, <laughs> which is, which is a, their their nice way of saying that he's racist. Yes, because he, he doesn't yell the n word at him, which is probably what he would an actual LAPD <laughs> cop would do. Uh, and then later, they uh, they're trying to move these big pieces of concrete to protect something from something. <laughs> and, uh, stop yeah, somewhere. sure. And um, this this same black guy from earlier, he's he's around. He's trying to get some help for his family because they're 
They're on Sir fire. Was he was arrested. He was arrested earlier in the film for asking for help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was. Well, yes, he was put in handcuffs for asking for help, and um, they let him go because he's got the build of a power lifter, mm -hmm. and he helps them pick shit up. And then, where it gets really weird is that the racist cop somehow redeems himself, and the way he does it is he just calls for a fire truck to go to where a fire is burning. Yeah, that's that's, that's where it. He redeems himself as a racist. Oh. Is he just like does the baseline thing that any person yeah. would do if there's a house on fire? I thought it was so funny. The other cop goes, "You're a good man." I was like, "Is he? What? <laughs> what is he? What?" You're a good man. Like he won't look at him or talk to him. At <laughs> He, he, they, they show him like specifically not really talking to him insane like the white evil cop not talking to the black guy but he is nice enough to send a fire <laughs> truck i mean it's, it has to thank be 40 goodness minutes later there's no way that this he's been handcuffed for an hour the bulk of the film yeah yeah, <laughs> the, the, yeah it's too late yeah. for everybody and it's it's cake it's like mount vesuvius over there there's like people encased in in, I don't know the word. Pompeii. Lava? I don't know. Uh, my uh, my family lives over in Pompeii. <laughs> <Can't laughs> <you? laughs> so dumb. Um, um, but I didn't. The yeah, the prequel. <laughs> the volcano. Did you hear what happened over in Pompeii? <laughs> uh, it won't ever happen. Oh yeah, that was another thing. Tom Lee J J Jones goes. A volcano in L.A. And I was like, yeah, a volcano on Earth. That's very. <laughs> likely <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> like what but okay i didn't finish about the adr oh, okay. there right, is right, a right. specific line we got, we got adr ADD. yeah <laughs> our darty darty um so the kid and it's when the daughter's like babysitting and the kid <laughs> is like <laughs> he says a line but it's so clearly just like an adult doing <laughs> kids voice he goes what beats lava <laughs> oh, like, yes. that was not his voice yeah. it's so it's weird like, it's, a, it's a poorly made film <laughs> what beats lava what beats lava <laughs> i think this is poorly made but like this movie is like better made than most movies we watch yeah. true <laughs> that's true i feel like i feel like the fact that you can just make everything and like a green screen to escape yeah. right now. <laughs> like, it has, has really messed up movies. Yeah, I prefer this. Like, I'd rather watch this than the Snyder Cut ever in my uh, again in my whole life. Yeah, I yeah, mean, probably would, yeah. you're probably right. No, I yeah. definitely would rather watch Gone Through the Tears. Yeah, I, I, I want to revisit because I, I remember liking it. Well, you guys are free to watch it next week if this coup that you're plotting <laughs> is indeed happening. <laughs> Is that what you're planning, Michael? A coup be happening. Sean, Sean doesn't even remember his coup. From I remember the coup. <laughs> I mean, uh, I thought Michael did the coup because he's going to leave the podcast altogether. Yeah, I was just going to leave. Every week, and I believe that he will. <laughs> One day. I can't leave the podcast. We're so rich. I know, I know. This did is... any of the Kill Donkeys <laughs> like this movie? More importantly, did any of the Kill Donkeys like this movie more than Dante? Ooh. I don't know why they would. And who would we cast in the remake of Volcano oh. as the leads? Well, I feel um. like you have to cast Brolin. Ooh. You ha Brolin is automatically Tommy Lee Jones, right? That'd be good. That would, would be like good. That. That's just like automatic auto casting, I believe. Who's animation? <laughs> is it uh, Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> I, I, I forgot Ellen Deneres' wife's name now. Is it Feruza Balk? Feruza Balk? Patricia De Rossi? Portia. Portia De Rossi. Oh, it's Patricia. <laughs> I thought it was Patricia. <laughs> Portricia. Um, Portia. 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 <laughs> um, I would cast Benicio Del Toro as... Um, the guy on the train who melts. Okay, <laughs> sure. Do you think he, he? Do you think he would give his character a stutter? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Be a twit, something. Who would we cast? Hail Mary, full of grace. Right? I can't even believe that choice. Uh, whatever. We won't even why, get on the why, to that topic. Why Yoko plays all of the racist. <laughs> <Why? Yeah. laughs> Raul. Yeah. Now I would rather watch that than this. 
I'll be honest. Sure. I mean, I, Tommy Lee Jones is good in this movie. There's Casting is not the issue here, people. No. Not the casting. Yeah. It's the everything else. <laughs> Any movie with Keith David is uh, knocking out of the park. Oh, God. Casting. For, that's how bad this movie is. I forgot Keith David was in it. Well, they kind of didn't give him much to do. He doesn't do much in it, which I was sad. I was like, oh. Yeah. Keith David's the best. He's he should, great. He should be Tommy Lee Jones' character. Oh, that would be cool. I feel like I'm not allowed to argue. <laughs> you can argue. Then I just become like the cops in this movie. Yeah. No, just, you hey, know, just you're say... right. He, Tom, Tommy Lee is good in this movie, but it is very clearly like he's not trying. No. He's yeah. not trying. He doesn't really try in movies anyways, <laughs> so you shouldn't cast him in roles where his character is appearing to try. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. That's great. Yes. That's, that's the casting director's fault for trying to. That's very good. Yeah. He's really good at looking over the top of his glasses while he reads a newspaper. That's No one is better at looking like they are just smelling or cutting the most diabolical fart ever. Like he's got that down. Like, uh, uh, um. He this is a man mm-hmm. who was annoyed almost to death <laughs> by Harrison Ford <laughs> being wrongfully accused. He was annoyed and bored yeah. by Harrison Ford being oh. wrongfully accused of his wife's murder. I love how mean he is in that scene. It's so funny. It's like the funniest thing. Oh, isn't there... There's a part where, like, at the beginning where they, like, bust into that house and that lady's, like, screaming. And he's like, shut up! <laughs> or something. It's really funny. He's tired of everyone. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, smart. Okay, one more thing from the Kill Donkeys. Okay. Bumming Down brought up, did anyone remember the person on the gurney who was already wrapped completely in gauze that gets demolished by flying lava? <laughs> Dude, because I thought that was insane. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> like, the thing erupts, and then he just gets, like, thrown. Like, someone gets thrown in a wheelchair, and then that guy gets covered in fire. I was like, jeez. It is the second best gurney related scene we've had this year, guys. <laughs> oh, no one, deep blue no sea. Yeah, no one's overtaking yeah. <laughs> that is the most overkill death of all time. It's like, what the fuck? There's a movie that understood how to how to make a grave situation. Ooh, very humorous. Go yeah, on. that was pretty Whereas good. It, I can't but like. I'm still just like blown away by Sean finding humor in this movie. This movie to me, like, there's no like the only funny part is like. When Tommy Lee Jones grabs Anne Heche's arm way too violently, or, and, I'm just, and I'm just like, <laughs> like my miserable inner uh, misanthrope misogynist is like, oh yeah, man. Yeah. Grab her. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's and not nice. And then I remember. And then I remember. And then, remember and then I remember. A good person. That is true. I'm begging for you, uh, any of you, kill donkeys, everyone, <laughs> please cancel. <laughs> cancel me now. Cancel me so that I may finally log off. Yes. It's the only way I'll ever log off. It's the only way to set me free. Set him if free. You love me. Cancel me. Okay. We will. We will do Please, it. John. Speaking of next week's show, <gasps> fellas. Yeah. Fellas, what movie are we going to watch in two weeks? Oof. Without fail, we will watch Mortal Kombat because <gasps> it's coming out. Yay! Watching it. But next week. Uh, we have uh, open season. Uh, there are two off, two things I have to offer to you. One, the most obvious, Dante's Peak. Yes. Uh, it's the only thing that makes sense. Two, uh, uh, someone asked for a fire starter. Whoa. Never, never saw it. John Carpenter was the original director for that. Oh, really? Whoa. And he just I bailed? Might, I thought that might make your little prick twitch like a rabbit. <laughs> 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 a carpenter? Well, I've got wood. Don't don't do all that. Anything else to go on the list, fellas? Um, I'm trying to think of other volcano movies. Mm. <laughs> How about Mighty uh, Morphin Power Rangers the movie? Oh, the new one. <laughs> 
What? The new one? What was the new one? Like six years ago. Shit up. I thought that was like a YouTube video. <laughs> No. Like a 12-minute YouTube video trip. There's a full movie Mortal that Mortal. looks horrible. Um, it's, okay. I was gonna do. I was gonna do a funny one, and now I feel like I can't. Well, do a funny one my Michael has damned us. Well, I'll go back to my one. I'll just keep no, suggesting. No, you, <laughs> you you get this out of your system now. Maybe put some thought into next week what you're going to do. I never think about it. I, I know. I'm like, I don't I know. know. No uh, one says something like, <laughs> Power Rangers or Scooby-Doo 2 if they're thinking about hey, it. Hey, no, I thought about Scooby-Doo. you get all scooped up on your Scooby snacks right before the fucking show. <laughs> and the next thing I know, I'm watching goddamn Power Ranger movies. The sad thing is, it's been like three weeks, so I think I just did some severe neurological <laughs> damage. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I've permanently I changed my molecules. I told, I told Michael that I read in like a medical journal that if you cook with weed oil all the time, you will stay permanently so. And, the, and Michael, it was like a eureka moment. He was like, that, that's it. <laughs> I've got All it. Right, well, I'm, I'm, go ahead, Tom. I'm sorry. No, no, I want you to. I want you to pick one. Ooh. So at first, so cinema has lost the Titan. Oh gosh. And I feel like we should honor this Titan. And I thought about in honor watching All Dogs Go to Heaven. Ooh. But I think the better way to honor DMX is to watch one of his movies where we can see him in the flesh. Wow. Um, so I think we should watch either. Either. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just going to... I thought about really doing, like, like a Jet Li DMX movie, because I really like the Jet Li <laughs> DMX movies. Okay. But I think we will watch the movie with the best DMX scene of all time. Let's let's throw Belly on the pole. Whoa. I've never, just, I've never seen Belly. Okay. It's That's wild. Let's get ready to get hyped. William. Whoa. Um, a, a kill donkey made a suggestion, and I think that okay. it should take mine. Um, Bumming Down said I'll throw in the Ninth Gate, so that can take Ooh. over mine. All right, <laughs> are we allowed to watch the Ninth Gate, boys? I don't know. Uh, we're not allowed to say positive things, but we can. Watch it. We can, we can okay. watch it and go. You know, he he's really rules. such a bad man. So he's good. so bad. I don't yeah, know we, why we, we, we even watch this. Like I said, cancel me. Let's do it. Do it. Do it now. Kill me. Cancel me. <laughs> okay. So, Ninth Gate, Dante's Peak. Uh, what else did I say? Firestarter mm-hmm. and Belly. Belly. Okay, those are all gone on the list. Belly. And if you want to participate, which is essential, head over to our Twitter. Whenever you're listening to this, go to at Food Court Cast and vote in the poll. And head over to Instagram to Food Court Movie Podcast. And just follow us and hit the little heart <laughs> button every time you see anything. And uh, while you're listening to us on your iTunes, if you are, or whatever your favorite podcast app is, give us a little review. Give us five stars. Tell your friends. We don't have any friends. And, and you can so cancel we... me in the review. <laughs> five stars. Yes, give us five stars. Also, tell us about the many obvious things that are cancelable about John. Thank you. Uh, and uh, while you're at it, would you? <laughs> Chad, don't really cancel. Me. He's gonna I just find realized. some beef. <laughs> we some of our kill donkeys are hackers. <laughs> he is. He's gonna sneak into your pass and, and <laughs> a screenshot. Oh no! Oh on. no! And then he's gonna send it out into the world wide web. Wow. Uh, fellas, we've nailed it. This is our. Our best episode yet. (laughs) We have to agree. (laughs) For Michael Hampton, for John Mm -hmm. Burr, and I have been Sean Parrott. May I say to you, bon appetit.